Hello, Marvel fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another brand new video review. Well, today I'm going to take a look at the Pop Black Panther number 273 Walmart exclusive Glow in the Dark Black Panther by Funko. Packaging, so it's just a standard Black Panther box with the Funko box. So on the back here, we got you got like all the pops in the line. We got Black Panther, the unmasked version. There's also the um, Chase variant with the masked Black Panther, Okoye, sorry, sorry, ugh, cannot pronounce her name, Nakia. Which is funny enough, I didn't notice that this is actually the actress who played. Uh, Moss from the Star Wars The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Eric Killmonger, who is also known as the Human Torch in the crappy Fantastic Four reboot. Never seen it. I will not see it. Maybe maybe so. See how bad is the Fantastic Four. And we got the Target exclusive Eric Killmonger. So that's about it for the the box. Now let's release Black Panther. Now I did got this from the Funko shop. I didn't got this at, whoops, like I said, I didn't got this at Walmart Online because it sold, it sold out real fast. I mean, seriously, real fast. It does stand very well. So let me just, whoops. Let me just fix my phone setting here. Let me just straighten out here. There we go. So here we got Black Panther out of the box. Now at the body, it's basically the exactly the same as the the one the common version, but the only minor difference is the head. Well, the head is basically much the exactly the same as the Chase variant. Again. They added like a glow in the dark details. I mean, I found this pop very, very inaccurate. I mean, in the movie, it's actually supposed to be purple, but in the but in the film, I mean, but in the pop form, it's actually blue. I mean, seriously, what is up with Funko mistakenly inact making inaccurate pops? Man, I need to make a top whatever inaccurate Funko pops. Like, let's just say I'm going to bring in the General Grievous and Tony Stark holding the helmet from Iron Man. I mean, I'm sorry, um, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad in her gown outfit, and also Amar from Home Alone, you know, the, and also Agent 13 from Civil War. I mean, yeah, so this is going to be one of these guys who appeared in the top whatever inaccurate Funko Pops because this is not an accurate Funko Pop. I mean, look at this. It looks... I mean, the body mode is okay. You can see some silver lining. You can see the silver parts here on his leg. I mean, see, it's, you can basically see his the nails on here. I mean, you can see, like, the glossy silver on the mask here. So... Yeah, for feature, he does glow in the dark. Let me bring in, let me turn off the light. Uh, for, with LED lights or whatever, the blue lights, it can easily work, but with the... So, now let's use the flashlight. Hold on, let me just, on the eye here. Uh, I, it's really okay, but the body's not glowing, but the eye does, and the, this here on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not the body, but... 
I mean, it's an okay pop. I mean, I mean, it's inaccurate, but it's an okay pop. The glowing is okay, but the pop itself is not accurate to the movie. It's supposed to be purple. Well, I've seen some pictures on Instagram where people were painting glow-in-the-dark paint with it and make it like an accurate pop. I mean, this, this is like what I get for it. <sighs> so that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for new videos daily. Also, turn on the the bell icon after you subscribe to notify new videos. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of the links in the description down below. So that's about it. Have a good day and goodbye. Somebody pop all day. Hold up. Somebody on their way. Hold up. I would have grown all day. Hold up. Somebody can't relate. Black Hold Panther. Stay down with no bacon. Go up. Top down. I've been racing. Go up. She wild. I'm in dangerous. Go up. My crowd in rotation. Yeah.